Hello and welcome to the second episode of Pro Tips on Stone Natural Medicine YouTube channel. As voted, today's episode is going to be on a very harsh chemical and that is known as glyphosate. Many of you may know it as Monsanto's Roundup. Over this last year there has been a lot of topics talking about this very harmful chemical. So let's look into exactly what this is on today's Pro Tip video. So before we start, I just wanted to give a little shout out to my friend Pedro. Please go follow him on his Instagram page, Thucydides, as he is a wealth of knowledge and actually helped me do a lot of research for this YouTube video today. So in order to start, we thought it would be best to start with the history of Monsanto, who actually creates glyphosate. So you could see a little bit on the inside of what this company really looks like. Originally made in 1901 by a gentleman named John Quincy. One of the very first products they made is a chemical that is called DDT. A few years later after the creation of this chemical, it was actually banned. That was because the government saw that this had very harmful effects on the environment and people and actually was one of the major reasons why there was a huge decline in our own nation's national symbol animal and that is the bald eagle. Reason behind this, they saw many of these chemicals of DDT that they were spraying on crops, leaking into our water systems. and afterwards it would actually get into the environment itself. In the case of the bald eagles, the bald eagles were even consuming this due to a secondary exposure and since this chemical is a heavy chelator, it actually would break down their eggs and ultimately would not allow them to reproduce. So after finding this out, they actually started to ban DDT and this was just one of the very first problems that Monsanto faced. After this point, they actually went on later to create another very strong and harmful chemical that many of us might have heard by now, and that is something called Agent Orange. This was a herbicide that was actually very heavily used in the Vietnam War. The government in the United States actually partnered with Monsanto to take this chemical and dump tons and tons of it on Vietnam. The idea behind this was, was their crops were not able to actually defend against Agent Orange. So if they sprayed their lands with this herbicide, it would actually help deplete the food of the native Vietnamese and this could help us win the war. So as you can see, this was actually a chemical that was used in warfare and not even for good because of the harmful effects. Now we fast forward to today and we're seeing many of the long-term effects that have happened in Vietnam since actually giving them this exposure. We are now seeing many people are facing different types of cancers and other health related issues in Vietnam and there's actually a huge lawsuit going on versus Vietnam versus Monsanto due to this reason. So as you can see, a little bit of the history of Monsanto has not been the best. And now today they are the largest suppliers of a herbicide today called glyphosate. This chemical we'll dive into now a little bit deeper about the problems of this chemical that they now create. But besides making glyphosate or Roundup, they also are the largest producers of GMO crops. And that is due to its reaction directly with glyphosate itself. So now let's look into what glyphosate really is. Glyphosate is an organophosphate pesticide. This was originally designed by Monsanto. Monsanto looked into this chemical and saw that it could be used on our crops to help ward off different pathogens. From this kind of global stance, it sounds like a very good product. Many crops around the world are actually being infested by many different types of bacteria, different pathogens, and killing our crops and ultimately getting into our food sources. So Monsanto said, hey, let's look at a way that we could actually stop this. However, this idea that seemed like it could be good has actually opened up a huge can of worms and has become a hugely problematic chemical that is being used. So what actually is this product glyphosate? Glyphosate is what's known as organophosphate pesticide. When this is sprayed on crops, it does one major thing. It stops a biochemical process called the shikimate or shikimate 
biochemical pathway. This pathway is actually a biochemistry process that creates the aromatic amino acids in plants. This meaning phenylalanine, tyrosine, tryptophan, all the ones with the little benzene rings within the amino acids. So when we actually stop this process from happening in these different organisms outside of the human genome, we actually stop their ability to um, develop. So once this happens, it's actually going to kill off different pathogens. However, in the human itself, our genome, we do not have a shikimate or shikimati pathway. So when Monsanto looked into this, they thought, hey, we could shut off the production of these uh, bad organisms, being the bacteria and other foreign uh, invaders that are actually killing off our plants. We could stop their shikimate pathway and it will not affect the humans because we do not have a shikimate pathway. So by adding in this chemical glyphosate as an herbicide, we could help protect our plants. However, this is not the end of the story. Now that we know exactly what is happening, Let's find out first why this process is not actually affecting our crops themselves. So Monsanto got very, very clever. After actually creating glyphosate, they went one step further and started creating what are called Roundup Ready crops. These are crops that are genetically modified, or GMOs. Many of us have probably heard about GMOs, but let's dive into exactly what these are. So Monsanto, what they did is, yes, our plants that typically would be sprayed with glyphosate would actually be affected because they do have a shikimate or shikimati pathway. So what they did is actually genetically engineer these plants or these crops to be able to still go through the process of creating these aromatic essential amino acids regardless if they are actually having glyphosate put on them. So these are what are called Roundup Ready crops because yes they could use glyphosate and still be able to create all the amino acids that they naturally would be doing and have the ability to still ward off pathogens while having the herbicide within them. But this is not still the end of the story. We now have GMO products, we have lots of glyphosate, and now these crops are being introduced to many areas across the world. So let's look into exactly what is happening and why this is harming ourselves. The harmful effects of glyphosate. So as we thought originally, Monsanto said, okay, hey, humans do not have the shikimate process. The plants that we're creating, we're able to genetically modif modify them to a go around having the disruption of glyphosate. So now, we're looking into why this is actually the problem. Well, there's a lot more to it than what Monsanto originally thought. First, let's look at three major areas of how glyphosate is actually affecting our health. The very first is also the shikimate process. But, like I said earlier, humans, we do not have this, so how could this affect us? Well, let me tell you something. Our bodies are actually 10 times more bacteria than we are our own cells. Yes, we have different flora within our gut, our nasal cavity, our lungs, many different areas of our body, and these are good bacteria that actually help support our bodies. And what happens is when we actually take glyphosate or this herbicide, it actually kills off this good bacteria the same way it would the foreign pathogens in our plants. So now what we're going to ha have happen is a disruption within our own microbiome. And the problem that happens with this is we're going to affect the shikimate processes that we actually need to naturally have happen. For instance, within our gut itself, we have these good bacteria that are making these essential amino acids for us, being the tyrosine, the phenylalanine, the tryptophan. And what happens is when glyphosate is introduced into this microbiome, it's going to kill off these bacteria that are creating these essential amino acids. So what's the problem with that? Well, just like I said, these are essential amino acids. Our body actually needs these to live, as well as there's many processes that come from these actual aromatic essential amino acids. For instance, let's look at just um, tryptophan. Tryptophan is a precursor to serotonin. Serotonin, as we all know, is very essential, and without it, we're going to have many other problems, like going to not 
feel we're going to feel hungry a lot more often if we have low serotonin we're going to have mental disorders such as anxiety we're going to have uh, depression i mean we're just going to see a whole host of disease stem afterwards from not having this production and then we look into some of the other chemicals like tyrosine which creates dopamine another very powerful neurotransmitter in the brain as soon as we're introduced to glyphosate and our microbiome is affected, we're going to have a huge host of disease that could actually be manifesting from here on out. This is just talking about the essential amino acid effect. Besides this, these good bacteria within our body actually perform a long list of other benefits to our body. And once we kill them off due to the fact that we're putting glyphosate in our body, we're going to actually open the doors to a long list of disease. Secondarily, there's another effect that happens with glyphosate. Glyphosate affects a enzyme within our body or a group of enzymes in our body called the CYP enzymes. One of the major ones that has been studied by Dr. Seneff at MIT has shown that this group of actual enzymes or CYP450 directly is affected by glyphosate and ultimately what happens is we're not going to be able to detoxify as well. CYP450 is a major enzyme within our liver that actually helps break down the toxins as it goes through the liver. It's one of its major jobs. So if we're not able to actually detoxify the body, one, we're going to actually not be able to break down the glyphosate that's building up in our body. So we're going to actually start to exponentiate these effects as well as all the other chemicals that we're introduced to through our daily lifestyles are not going to be broken down as easily so this is actually going to help start a whole host of disease once again because we're not going to be able to properly detoxify our bodies once we're exposed to glyphosate this is only the second area the third area where we see a lot of problems is glyphosate is what's known as a chelator what chelation is, it's a process that actually pulls heavy metals from the body. Once we introduce glyphosate to the body, it's going to start grabbing onto a lot of the metals within our body. Not, and when we look at these metals, not all of these metals are actually bad. I mean, many of these metals we actually need in our body. Let's look at magnesium, zinc, calcium, sulfur. I mean, these have so many beneficial uh, needs to our body that once we actually start to chelate them out of our body, we're going to start seeing a whole host of additional diseases starting to happen. I mean, we're going to start seeing bone density decreasing. Sulfur has, I mean, a whole list of chemical reactions within the body. Zinc is very powerful for our DNA as well as fighting off diseases such as viruses. When we look at magnesium, for instance, this has a large list of just helping with overall well-being. I mean, as soon as we start chelating out these different metals within our body, we're going to really affect our body at a whole nother level. What also happens is this happens within our crops as well. When glyphosate is actually sprayed across all the crops, this is going into the soils themselves, and we're going to be affecting the soil that we're actually growing our crops in as well. It's going to chelate out the metals and the different uh, products that the plants are actually going to be needing to grow and to have the highest nutritional value. And so we're not going to have really rich soils anymore due to this chelation, as well as, once again, it's going to stop the shikimate process or shikimate process within the microorganisms that are in our soil as well. Good soil is alive, just like our guts, just like our bodies. It has a biodiversity of different organisms living within it. And if we're killing that off in the soil as well, this is going to just give us plants that are depleted of nutrition. So overall, you can see glyphosate really has a lot of problems on us. Now, we fast forward to today and let's look into actually the health concerns that we are seeing. So today in 2019, we've actually seen a lot of health concerns coming from glyphosate. Stuff such as leaky gut, uh, as well as now we're looking at many different cancers are developing because of glyphosate. Here in 2019, there's been a few very large lawsuits that have happened. The first one was a $289 million lawsuit. The second was for two people, each awarded $2 billion. They sued Monsanto directly because they actually 
got non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is a type of cancer that they saw was directly related to their exposure of Roundup. We are just now starting to surface these many diseases that are coming out due to our exposure to glyphosate over the years. And all I can say is this is nasty stuff and there's a lot more that we're gonna be see coming out. Now let's look into how much glyphosate really is out there. When we look at the world today, almost 90% of the crops out there actually use glyphosate as the herbicide to protect them. So 90% of our food that is grown is exposed to this, which means we are exposed to this. This is just absolutely crazy. So what can we do to help stop our exposure to glyphosate? One of the first major areas is to buy organic. If we're buying organically certified foods, we're gonna make sure that these are pesticide herbicide free. So meaning they're not gonna be sprayed with chemicals such as glyphosate. By making sure you get all of your foods organic, you're gonna help stop the exposure to this. However, many of us still do have exposure. What's gonna be necessary here is just trying to make sure we detoxify our bodies. I know like myself, I've definitely been exposed to glyphosate somewhere throughout my life and still do sometimes. There's times I'm out at restaurants and places that I cannot get organically certified foods and I know I'm probably getting some type of exposure to this chemical. So I make sure that I detoxify my body, but just like anything in medicine, if you're gonna start a detoxification program, make sure you work with an expert because once you start releasing these chemicals, it can open up a whole another door of uh, just harm to your body as well. Because once you start releasing these toxins, your body's going to take havoc and you might feel sick or even go even further than that. So make sure you work with a health expert to detoxify yourself. Also, there are some amazing supplements. If you work with a naturopathic doctor, functional doctor that knows about this and these different supplements could actually help remove glyphosate from your body as well. Just to recap, glyphosate is a very toxic chemical. However, when we look at what glyphosate is, it actually even is worse than we even thought. When we actually look at glyphosate, it's actually marketed and put through a product called Roundup. And when we look at Roundup, this is even worse of a product because it's not only glyphosate. There's actually a cocktail of chemicals in there. This is because the different chemicals that are actually mixed with the glyphosate make glyphosate even more easily able to penetrate cells. So when we actually start to eat this, we're gonna be even absorbing even more glyphosate than just taking glyphosate by itself. So Roundup really is an even worse product than glyphosate itself. To wrap things up in today's pro tip, I'm just going to say please try to stay away from glyphosate. This is a very harmful chemical. It's going to chelate out very beneficial metals in your body. It's going to disrupt your CYP enzymes as well as just going to mess with your overall microbiome and these good bacteria that we have in our body. So please make sure you stay organic. Make sure you tell a friend and just ultimately please help transcend this information of how dangerous glyphosate really is. Thank you.